What's up, you cunts? It's the Filthy Mouth Gamer. And today is episode one of Knuckle Deep Thoughts. Basically, what Knuckle Deep Thoughts is, is instead of me giving you game tips and tricks and strategies, every once in a while, I'm gonna come on here and I'm gonna give you my fucking opinion on current events and other fucking shit. Basically things that piss me off. And that's a long fucking list, let me tell you. We're also gonna have some video games playing during this. This one is No Man's Sky. And uh, we're not here to talk about No Man's Sky. Today, we're here to talk about someone that has won a gold medal in the current Olympics. And her name is Gabby Douglas. Now, if you don't know who Gabby Douglas is, she's a gold medal Olympian, a gold medal gymnast. And... When she won the gold, they were playing the Star Spangled Banner, the National Anthem, and the rest of her team was standing at attention, and they had their hand over their heart like good little Americans, and Gabby Douglas had the audacity to not put her hand on her heart. I mean, what a travesty, right? Listen, it's bullshit. Nobody gives a fuck. Now, you have outrage going on right now, okay? You got people saying it's disrespectful. She's not patriotic. She should apologize. First things first. All these people saying these things don't give a flying fuck about anybody putting their hand over their heart during the Star Spangled Banner. It doesn't affect anyone's life whatsoever. The reason people like to pretend to give a fuck is something called virtue signaling. Now I heard about virtue signaling on the Joe Rogan podcast. And basically, it's like being outraged at something so you pretend to care about a cause when, in all honesty, you don't. And basically, nobody would have even known about this shit. But the media, they find the littlest fucking thing and they gotta broadcast it. And they create outrage. That's what the fucking media does. They did it with fucking Caitlyn Jenner. They did it with the transgender bathrooms. They do it once a month at least. And they usually do it to distract us from important shit. Like Hillary Clinton literally rigging a fucking election or the TPP, or something really important, because they don't want to report on shit like that, because they can't, because they're not allowed to, they're not real fucking journalists, they're just talking heads, if they ever step out of line, and do actual journalism, and question real shit, then they get a talking to, or they get fired, that's how it works, so, What you have is you have places like Fox News and CNN and MSNBC and the New York Times and yada, 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 the mainstream media. They come up with this story and a bunch of pundits and fucking writers, they pretend like they're outraged and they're upset that this girl had the audacity 
to not give the certain hand gesture that they would like. It's un-American. It's unpatriotic. Now, they don't really believe that shit. But they convince regular Joes to believe it. Now, the regular Joes, they want to feel like they're up to current events, so they want to go to work and, Oh, you see this cunt, Gabby Douglas? She put a hand on a throat, on a chest. When in all actuality, the fact that Gabby Douglas gave up her childhood to become a gold medal gymnast and won the gold medal for the United States, that's not enough. She has to now bend her elbow in a certain way or all that other shit, the training, the giving up her fucking childhood, that means nothing. As long as you bow down and obey and kiss the ass of the fucking American flag and the Star Spangled Banner, then you get to be celebrated. But until then, fuck you, you're a piece of shit. That's the fucking attitude in this country, okay? There's a million other fucking things to be outraged about, okay? You got the banks control the money supply in the United States, okay? Almost every single dollar of federal taxes goes to enrich the lives of bankers, okay? When the Treasury, the U.S. Treasury, borrows money from the Federal Reserve, a.k.a. the banks, the Federal Reserve puts an interest rate on that money. And how do you think the U.S. Treasury pays back the money? With our fucking money. You, me, your parents, your grandparents, your kids, their fucking kids, they all work for the fucking banks. That's a fact. No, let's not be outraged at Hillary Clinton, who's not only a fucking liar, but who's a fucking war criminal, has lied under oath, and has gotten away with so many crimes along with her husband, it can make your fucking head spin. And now... She just got away with rigging election against Bernie Sanders and will do the same in the general. You mark my fucking words. No, let's not be outraged at that. Let's not be outraged at the fact that there's people being thrown in fucking cages for 5, 10, 15, 20 whole lifetimes for smoking weed. But at the same fucking time, you have pharmaceutical companies pushing drugs way more fucking dangerous, 10, 15 thousands of times more dangerous because nobody's ever died from smoking marijuana in the history of the planet. But you know why they get to push these drugs? Oh, that's right. Because they get to fucking bribe politicians. Let's not be outraged at that. Let's not be outraged that right here, right now, where I live, where you live, in this country, there's doctors driving Lamborghinis, Porsches, Aston Martins, and Bentleys based simply on the fact that they made money on fucking cancer patients giving them chemotherapy and giving them radiation. When there's much better ways to treat cancer, like better diet, or marijuana, cannabis oil, happens to kill cancer. No, let's ignore all that shit. Let's now attack Gabby Douglas. Because she didn't fucking 
bow down and and put her hand over her heart during the Spar Spangled Banner. Let me ask you a question. Who is that disrespecting exactly? Is it disrespecting Francis Scott Key? Who wrote the fucking Star Spangled Banner? Because I'm pretty sure the last time I checked, he's fucking dead. And he doesn't give a fuck. It's disrespecting nobody. It's giving people a reason to argue over shit. That's what it's doing. The other thing, I have a hard-on for the fucking Pledge of Allegiance too. Fuck the Pledge of Allegiance. How's that? And I'll tell you why. As Americans who like to jerk ourselves off every day about having freedom, being forced to pledge allegiance to anything flies in the face of everything the founders wanted. They got away. They escaped pledging allegiance to a fucking monarchy just so what a hundred years 150 200 years later we're forcing our children to pledge allegiance to something they really don't understand or don't know it's because it indoctrinates people to be obedient because that's all they really want they want all of us to be obedient and at the same time they also want all of us to argue so, I personally think we need more disobedience. We need more civil disobedience. I mean, the country was fucking founded on civil disobedience. Was founded by people that were probably the most legendary disobedient motherfuckers in the history of the modern world. But now, I gotta hear ignorant cunts attack a girl who gave up more than they will ever give up in their fucking lives for not making a hand gesture. These are the same people, by the way, and I can't really say that it's the same. I don't know. I know there's a lot of them, though, that probably voted for Bush and Cheney the second time. And it's pretty well known that Dick Cheney personally profited from the war in Iraq and the war in Afghanistan. Now, the war in Iraq was proven to be false under false pretenses. He made money on not only getting our soldiers and innocent people killed, but killing hundreds of thousands of innocent people in Iraq. Made money on it. He should be in jail. He should be in, he should be in a fucking cave somewhere, shackled to the fucking wall. If you ever heard of another person in another country Doing what Dick Cheney did, we would invade that fucking country. But no, since he's here and he's American and he likes to wear his little American flag pin on his fucking lapel, everybody gives him the free pass. But no, Gabby Douglas needs the one needs to burn, right? Fuck you people. You don't even know what you're talking about. You don't even think about anything. You just hear, Birdie flags, bad. American flag, good. Hand on the heart, good. No hand on the heart, bad. You people attacking Gabby are a bunch of simple-minded slobs that can't even think one step ahead of yourselves. You're being manipulated by the media and you're fucking pathetic. And you should be ashamed of yourselves. Just die.